Thanks for tuning in to this weather briefing to cover the atmospheric river that is expected to arrive on Thursday. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist with National Weather Service. Okay, let's look at the morning satellite imagery across California. Here's what it's showing. Large storm system evident in that broad circulation moving towards Northern California. That'll move pretty much due east now, um, there's also a feature that will come up from the subtropics Wednesday evening. The main storm system to the north, however, will be what draws the atmospheric river over Southern California on Thursday. What am I talking about with an atmospheric river? So when I remove the clouds, this is what it looks like. The dark green shaded area that extends into the tropics, that is the actual ribbon of very high level moisture and focused wind energy. You can also see there's a smaller feature um, to the southwest of San Diego. Both of those will move towards our region on Thursday. The RadarWeather.gov page will have all the details where you can monitor the rainfall as it approaches. What have we seen the past 72 hours? Basically this week we've seen widespread rainfall. The rain has amounted to three to four inches across the coastal slopes of the San Bernardino Mountains northeast of Rancho Cucamonga and also across the Santa Ana Mountains. We've also seen widespread one to three inches across the Northern Inland Empire in Orange County. In fact, uh, Orange County region such as Seal Beach had two inches in two hours yesterday evening. Now across San Diego County further south and the deserts, we've seen widespread half inch to an inch and a half. Some of the favored locations where that moist air is being drawn up against the mountains, such as Idlewild and also the Palomar Mountain region has received two to three inches already. Snow has been beneficial above 6,000 feet, so our ski resorts up in the San Bernardino Mountains have received six to 12 inches. The Holy Burn Scar, which is an area we're monitoring closely, has also received two to as much as four inches of rain as shown here. What is the weather pattern? Well, the storm system I just mentioned in the eastern Pacific will slide pretty much due east across northern California, so a direct hit up there with the coldest part of the storm. But we get the atmospheric river, the southern part of the storm, and still enough wind energy to drive that moisture out across southern California on Thursday. What do I mean with an atmospheric river? Well, here is where we can measure it. Uh, the larger arrows are where you have the best transport and most potential for moderate to heavy rain. So by 10 a.m. on Thursday is the left-hand image, and by 4 p.m. on Thursday is the right-hand image. And you can see it's pointed directly over the San Bernardino and San Gabriel Mountains, 10 a.m. Thursday, so tomorrow morning. And then it slides southward with more deep moisture moving across northern San Diego County on Thursday afternoon. Across the entire state, this is what we're looking at. Uh, beneficial, um, in some cases a little too much, but beneficial rain and very high elevation snow across the state of California. In general, across Southern California, we look for another three to six inches on the coastal slopes. One to three for Orange County and Inland Empire. And then we see one to two for the San Diego portion and then also Western Riverside County. Some spill over too, especially into the Coachella Valley where we could see up to an inch of rain in the northern part of the valley. Here's a zoomed up version and this shows it pretty well. We can see that across the coastal slope regions they are bright orange red. That's what we'll see an additional three to five inches of rain. Even in the um, metro areas like San Bernardino, Ontario and Santa Ana we will see anywhere from an inch and a half to as much as three inches. Now when you slide further south, a little further away from the atmospheric river, but still getting some of it, northern San Diego County, uh, about an inch, possibly up to close to two inches at Temecula and Fallbrook, and uh, two to three inches in Palomar Mountain. And the spillover into the deserts, um, so two areas like between the high deserts and the northern Coachella Valley, those areas could see close to an inch. Winds will increase as well. That's part of the atmospheric river. And the winds will be strongest on Thursday where we'll see some gusts 50, 60 miles per hour. 
across the mountains and uh, even some gust 40 50 across the desert slopes as shown here some of those stronger winds making it all the way down to the borrego valley as well coastal areas and inland valleys it will be windy uh, but not strong well, we'll see gusts peaking up probably uh, 25 to 30 mile prior range. Here's some of the details for um, the rest of today and tonight. Basically scattered showers, um, but steady at times across the coastal slopes. Rainfall rates will be generally light, uh, but up to 15 hundredths per hour. Most of the wind will be confined to our mountain areas until we get that rain moving in tonight and the winds will increase everywhere. Snow level has uh, risen quite a bit. It's up around 7,500 feet, so maybe only a little bit of slushy snow around 8,000 feet today and this evening. Now, for the brunt of the storm or the atmospheric river, that's later tonight all the way through Thursday evening. So this evening we expect some numerous showers becoming more widespread and then eventually widespread after midnight, first moving into northern Orange County and the Inland Empire and then sliding southward Thursday morning into northern San Diego County. We'll see um, winds of 15-20 miles per hour with some gusts of 30 but the winds will become quite strong like I mentioned in the prior slide over the mountains and desert slopes. So when is the concern for the heaviest rain? Well the heaviest rain looks to be over northern areas starting as early as 4 a.m. So we have a window about 4 a.m. to 4 p.m. with some of that peak rain that includes northern San Diego County, but I do want to note the rain will linger all the way through Thursday evening, so uh, rain won't be done at 4 p.m. Most areas, their peak rainfall rate will be a quarter to half inch when it's really coming down in the atmospheric river. It appears too warm for a lot of snow, uh, so we'll see a wet snow up around 8,500 feet, the top of the ski resorts at best, um, and the most significant accumulation of snow would be above 9,000 feet. So we also want to point out um, a large swell coming in for elevated surf and then increasing surf most favorable areas exposed to that swell up to 10 feet. We're going to see uh, potential for some coastal flooding too late Thursday into Friday because of the surf and the high tide. All right, here's the summary. Uh, generally a light and intermittent precipitation but becoming more widespread tonight, especially after midnight uh, and that heavier band to move into Orange County and Southwest San Bernardino County after midnight. We're also seeing dense fog above about 3,500 feet. That's the cloud layer with a very warm air mass above it. The main atmospheric river doesn't approach until this evening and it doesn't arrive until Thursday. So we expect that steady heavy rain to develop early Thursday morning across the Orange County San Bernardino coastal slopes. I want to note the rain does linger all the way into Thursday evening, so it doesn't end uh, quickly. The heaviest rain, if I were to pick a time, uh, 4 a.m. to 4 p.m., that's where we really could see the potential for some debris flows and rock slides, small stream, and possibly even some river flooding. And uh, a lot of water is going to be coming down below 8,000 feet because of those high snow levels. And what water am I talking about? Well, a new rainfall of 3 to 5 inches across those coastal slopes, so that includes like uh, Ranch Cucamonga, Yakaipa, that includes possibly Forest Falls, certainly Crestline, Lytle Creek, those areas. It also includes some areas um, such as San Diego Peak and the coastal slopes of Santa Ana Mountains. And it also uh, could expect up to three, four inches in Palomar Mountain and the west slope of the San Jacinto Mountains. So for most of the metro areas, we look for one to two inches with locally around three. Uh, probably an inch, inch and a half for northern San Diego County um, and easily two to four for Palomar slopes. And when you get down to San Diego Metro, closer to a half inch. Uh, also for the deserts, closer to a half inch. But uh, parts of the Coachella Valley, like the northern portion, could see up to an inch of rain. So pretty significant rainfall um, with this final storm moving through and the actual atmospheric river. Stay tuned for updates and check weather.gov San Diego. That's where you'll see the latest information. And if you see something posted like a flash flood warning, that means that area highlighted has urgent and ongoing flooding. The flash flood watch, which is in effect for the Inland Empire, San Bernardino Mountains, Coastal Slopes, and Orange County, means there's the potential for the flooding. Doesn't mean it's occurring at the moment, but there's the potential. So heighten awareness.
Check us out on Facebook and Twitter. We've put a lot of information on Twitter as well. Stay safe. Thanks for tuning in.